welcome back to a new vlog. It has been a very long time since I have vlogged. Um, I have just gone through a loss, as you may have noticed in the title and thumbnail of this video. Um, it's been such an emotional roller coaster during my surrogacy journey, so I ended up having a transfer in September. I was confirmed pregnant 10 days after that and I was super excited. I continued my meds as normal and I just took care of the baby as if it were my own and I felt happy. I felt like I, I'm so sorry my hair is so crazy. Uh, this is my natural like hair but I had it in a bun so it looks really, uh, it looks really gross so I'm so sorry. It's a sorry. Yeah, so I felt like finally I had a purpose in my life and it felt really good waking up every morning. Um, I was super tired during my pregnancy and yeah, everything was normal until about seven weeks pregnant. I started to have brown discharge and um, my manager actually said that it was normal, like I shouldn't have anything to worry about. A week later, I had my ultrasound appointment and they detected that there wasn't any flickering in the chest of the baby. My heart broke and I was very emotional. I was very depressed. I couldn't believe it. I was in denial. Um, I remember that day I cried the entire way home. I couldn't even see. Literally, my eyes were full of tears. Like every day i would just cry and cry and finally um my doctor from california called me and told me that he wanted me to um fly over there so that he can detect if there was a heartbeat or not himself and i felt like there was hope um i felt like maybe they were wrong you know maybe the nurses missed the heartbeat and I was really talking to God and praying to God during this time period you know to um just pray that there would be a heartbeat again um I I told him that how I felt you know and in my heart I was just like God if you can cure the blind again and make them see and you created the heavens and the earth and you know you've brought the dead back to life like you can make there be a heartbeat again I was really praying and um, I arrived to California I was crying so much like every day it was two days later when I flew out there and I was crying I looked terrible um, so there was not a heartbeat and, you know, I asked what was the cause of it and he said that he didn't know, like he was so sorry, but he couldn't, he didn't know. So what ended up happening is that they ended up doing a DNC on me, which is like where they take the baby out so that they can, um, test it. And so that's what they did. And a month later, I ended up getting the results that the embryo was actually abnormal. So it had to do with the 13th chromosome it didn't pair correctly which means that the baby would have continued to grow as normal but the brain would have never developed and the organs could have came like out inside of my body so they were just like you know consider yourself lucky and i was just like I do, but it's just so sad and so, you know, heartbreaking. And I just want to tell you guys that if you're going through the same thing or you're thinking about being a surrogate, it is a possibility that this could happen to you. But I can say that it has strengthened me so much and my faith in God has gotten so much stronger. I don't know why this happens but it does and luckily with the science that we have which is super advanced we're able to detect you know what is really happening with the baby itself 
And so I felt a lot better knowing that, you know, I was doing everything right and there was nothing I could have done differently. Um, I think oftentimes we blame ourselves, but it's just life. Like, a lot of women go through losses and it's sad. It's so sad. But, um, yeah. And now I am talking about this without crying. But let me tell you that this happened in November. It is now almost March so it's been a while you know it's been a while that this has happened um and all I can say is I hope that one day I can give this man his baby that he desires and you know that he's dreaming about it just makes me feel so sad and I wish there was an easier way but on a positive note, what I can say is that it was an experience that I'm going to remember forever. And I'm not, I'm not going to give up. Like, I'm not going to give up on this. I feel like this promise was put in my heart by God. And I just want to um, fulfill my purpose no matter how hard things get. And what I can say is that there was over 450 surrogate cases last year, and I was the second case um, that was abnormal. So it's a very slight chance, but it, it is, you know, it does happen sometimes. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of your support. Literally, my last surrogate video hit a thousand views, and I haven't like been active at all so I'm hoping that um I can be more open about you know my journey and I had an idea of this perfect journey and this perfect you know pregnancy with no complications but now I know that nobody looks for perfection I think everybody looks for someone that they can relate to during difficult times um and don't be afraid to reach out to me i will link my instagram down below um and i just want to thank you guys so much for all of your support i've been getting non-stop dms from women and i just feel so honored i feel like i'm building a sisterhood with women from all over the world that look up to me and that was once me who looked up to those who have you know, really inspired me to be where I am today. <clears throat> I do have so much news, you know, um, surrogate news and updates since it it is now going to be March. Um, and I will talk about those in my next video. So stay tuned. As always, subscribe and join the tribe. I love you guys so much.